Hello, my name is Pat. Welcome to my channel. Today I will be talking about all the arcs that I finished in February or all the arcs that are coming out this March. I was planning on doing a vlog for this one, but I finished like the first three, first four books pretty fast. So I wasn't able to like do updates whenever I was reading them. So I just decided to do this kind of more in-depth review of these books. Most of these I have already talked about during my February wrap up because I finished most of them in February. Yeah, just a little bit more in-depth in here. So the first one that I finished is All My Rage by Saba Tahir. This is already out. This came out March 1st and this one I rated a 5 out of 5 stars. I really, really, really enjoyed this one. This is Saba Tahir first contemporary release. Um, her previous books are the An Ember in the Ashes Quartet, which I also really love. That's why I'm so looking forward to reading this one. We are following here two main characters, Noor and Salahuddin. They are both children of Pakistani immigrants and they live in Juniper, California. We are following two timelines here. One is of Misbah, who is Salahuddin's mother and Noor's kind of adoptive mother as well. Like growing up, she saw Misbah as her mother figure because when she was young, she lost her parents in a tragedy in Pakistan and her uncle brought her with him to California and Noor and Salahuddin have been best friends for a very long time but something happened I think a few months before where where we're going to start in the story where they stop talking to each other. Salahuddin's family run a mo runs a motel and with her mother sick, they've been behind and on debt. They've been struggling to run it and his father has succumbed to drinking and they've just been struggling and he's essentially been taking care of his entire family by himself while also still in high school. Noor, meanwhile, works in her uncle's liquor store and applying to colleges in secret because her uncle doesn't want her to leave and go to college and just plans for her to run the liquor store when she's graduated from high school. Sal is very desperate. In his attempt to save the motel, he gets into trouble alongside Noor as well and it's a really heart-wrenching but beautiful story of family of friendship of love and there's like an overarching theme of forgiveness throughout the book as well and community and it's a very difficult book to read there's a lot of trigger warnings this book art actually has the content warnings written inside i really love this book this is a this is a kind of book i think i already mentioned it that i feel like everybody should read it can be very difficult to read especially with all the topics that are on here with you know family relationships what you are willing to do and willing to go through for family it's very beautiful if you're going to read one book from here well maybe two from here this is one of those all marriage by somebody here again check the content warnings but i really 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 love this book i loved it I was only halfway through, not even I think halfway through when I pre-ordered this one. Well, I already knew that I was going to like it, but I wasn't sure if I wanted to get like my own physical copy. I mean, I had, you know, very good feelings about this because it's written by Saba Tahir and Saba Tahir's writing. It's still beautiful, still very captivating. I, I just, I really love this book. Definitely going to be probably in my top reads of 2022 so far. It's very, it's very good. And then the next one that I finished is Love Decoded by Jennifer Yan. This one comes out March 8th, the day that I'm filming this. This is a YA contemporary <clears throat> rom-com about a Taiwanese American teen who must save their relationships. That means so much to her when her friend making up goes awry. Actually, a companion series. I didn't know that this was good. This was the second book, but I didn't like miss anything from the story. But the main character is a very high achieving. I think she's in senior year and she's preparing to go to college. And one of the things that she's having trouble with is like just having, just perfecting her credentials to go to college to get into the colleges she wants to and she's very good with coding and she comes up with a friend making app um, when she meets this new girl who has said that she is having trouble with making friends and her family is known well her great aunt i think or yeah, her great aunt is known to be a very good love matchmaker like a matchmaker so she kind of applies that matchmaking into, uh, into her friend making app things get out of control because of her app yeah this one was a three stars for me it's a very fast very light read but i feel like especially with the romance part i felt like we focus so much more on the main character which is fine but because it is told in her perspective because she is the main character but i felt like everyone else 
was put in the back burner and we only see like glimpses of them when they are interacting with her. There's just not enough like layers to the characters themselves. Even the love interest doesn't have a lot of layers himself. We only see him very in very small parts, although I really do like him. I do like all the characters, but there's like they, they don't feel very real and substantial to me. The same thing with like the plot, it was okay. Not a lot of very strong feelings for this one. It was very fast and light. If you're looking for that, you can definitely read this one. But if you're looking for more depth in the characters and the plot, yeah. Also, there is growth with the main character, but just a bit more like depth th to it as well would be great. But yeah, love decoded. And then the next one that I read is Right Where I Left You by Julian Winters. This one I rated a four stars. This is coming out next week. March 15th. So this is another YA rom-com. This is following best friends, two lovers, and this was very cute. I had a lot of fun reading this one. It also deals with a lot of like really complicated relationship with the main character's family and his father leaving their family and you know the repercussions of that and the way that it changed the relationships between the siblings as well. Seeing the consequences and the results of what happened to them. It's the last summer together of the best friends and they were planning on going to it's like comic con but the main character was the one assigned to or like the one in charge of buying the tickets but he got distracted and wasn't able to get tickets for them. It was supposed to be well, like part of their plan to like really spend as much time together before they leave for college and he kind of butchers it and he feels very guilty and of course there is romance. It was very cute. I really really like it. I do, I love the family aspect as well and the found family that is present in here. Very very cute. A lot of fun to read as well. And then the next one is Dating Dr. Dell by Anisha Sharma. This one is also coming out March 15th. I rated this one a 4.5 stars. This is the other book that I, if you're going to read two of this, the one that I mentioned earlier, is this one. So this is an adult contemporary romance and we are following opposite attract character. So we are following Katrina who is described as a hopeless romantic who has been single for a very long time and her aunties are nagging her and hounding her to get married especially with her younger sister engaged and about to be married as well and our love interest dr prem belief in the way that love is not real like he doesn't really believe in love or in that relationships should not be founded on love instead it should be found in compatibility because love is not sustainable and it's not going to ensure that a couple or a relationship will last forever. So they're opposites attract in that and they have this like butchered almost one night stand. <laughs> and so that it's kind of a hate to love as well from there. So it was very fun. It was so fun to read. I couldn't put it down. I appreciate reading also the main characters experiences as children of immigrants, especially with Rena's relationship with her family and the complicatedness of that with you know her knowing that there's a lot of things to change uh, that needs to be changed in the relationship because it's toxic like she loves her family but it's toxic like there's certain aspects of it that is toxic that is very harmful for them but she still loves and cares for her family and that's what makes it very complicated to deal with she you know wants to respect her family but at the same time she also wants to set boundaries i really appreciate reading that especially with a large part of the problematic, harmful, hurtful parts of the relationship as part of like their culture or like is ingrained in their culture, a very difficult thing to navigate. Also Prem, because he doesn't believe in love, seeing him like falling in love with Rina and just kind of denying it and saying that, you know, it's not love. I'm attracted to her, but I think we're pretty compatible. It's not love. I don't love her. I'm not going to fall in love, you know, or it's not love. I just, she's just compatible with me. I'm like, oh, sure. Okay, <laughs> it was it was very cute to read. And so yes, I really enjoyed this one. It's also, again, I'm available in Book of the Month, so you can order it through Book of the Month. And then the next one is Remember Me Gone by Stacey Stokes. This one comes out March 22nd. I read this one at 3.75 stars. It's a speculative debut thriller about a girl whose family has the ability to remove memories and she uncovers dark secrets permeating her small texas town so this is another one that is very quick to read and i did really enjoy it especially with the added tension of you not knowing if the people around you has their memories taken or altered and not knowing if your memories have been altered too and what your certain memories that have a very heavy impact on you could be manipulated or distorted very interesting but when we got to the end it was very underwhelming yes there were very interesting reveals but i think overall with the way the end 
happened it's just very it was very anticlimactic like nothing happened really there wasn't a lot of like tension there was no like big massive point in the climax of the story so that one was very underwhelming i love the build-up to the conflict but the build-up amounted to nothing <laughs> So that was very sad. That's Remember Me Gone. And then the last one, the one that I took so long to read that I just finished is City of Dusk by Tara Sim. I saw this one on NetGalley and decided to see if I could get a, an arc for this one. This one is also coming out March 22nd. This is an adult first book in a new high fantasy series. This one I think was like 500 plus pages. So it's a lot of it. I read this one at 3.5 stars. I got to about 10 to 15% of it before I was like, I need to reread it because I couldn't understand anything. And I understood why it was hard for me to read because it's again first book and i in a new high fantasy series and there's a lot of characters to remember there's a lot of different like the world itself is very complicated and the magic itself is also very complicated different kinds of magic in different houses and the different houses you know have different um heads of the houses and different heirs the way the magic works is also kind of different there's also of course the king the royal family and you know the, how the relationships are and how the magic works because it's kind of intertwined with each other as well and it's a lot it was a lot so this is following four main characters they are the heirs of the houses during the time there's a rebellious group trying to cause chaos in the kingdom and or they're practicing a different kind of conjuration it's a different form of magic that is dangerous they're trying to crack down on this rebellious group but as they discover more with each of the characters journey to that plus the god sign that they're going to have where it's a really like big celebration that showcases the powers of the different families a lot of things are happening building up to this god's night plus the rebellious group there's just a lot going on and we're following like four different perspectives plus i think two or three more from it so there's a lot to like remember and understand and i get it i understand it was very hard especially in the first half by the second half of the story hooked on the story i was interested in where it was going and then that last part the climax part was very very good i really enjoyed it and so i was very close to dnfing it but i was starting to get the story by the time i was like should i dnf it should i not and then it got even more interesting so i stayed and i finished the book again it's the first book a new series so i understand that there's a lot i but i felt like it could have been you know a lot more easy to understand i feel like there's just a lot of world building it's very info dumpy a lot of names a lot of terms to remember it's just a lot but i am interested in reading the rest of the books in the series i feel like if it was somebody else they would understand this a little bit more would appreciate this a little bit more just my personal experience with it was a bit of a struggle but i will be reading the rest of the series i believe this is a trilogy so we'll read a second book when it comes out see if i will continue with this series but it's very interesting so far just just a lot of things to remember <laughs> and you know the magic system is very complicated so all of that it was still good by that second half of the book so yeah so those are all of the arcs that i read for february mostly in february that are all coming out in march let me know if the, you're interested in reading any of these books but again highly recommend all my rage and dating dr jail highly highly recommend those so those are all the books thank you so much for watching and i will see you on the next one